So my book itself, wow, it's, it's finally here. Uh, it's been a long journey and I've put it beside me. Um, I just want to talk about it first as a material object because uh, I'm always reminded when I see it that it's a real thing. It's finally here. Um, so, you know, uh, I love the cover, but I want to explain why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. So first of all, you know, it's really, I think, the perfect image for this book. Um, this was a, a painting that was hidden in the walls of the York Factory Depot building and found by Parks Canada in the last 10 years or so. Um, and, you know, there was a, there's kind of a longstanding myth in some ways, and you see this in the, in the history, especially older histories about the fur trade, of kind of a, a, a lifeless, musicless, you know, uh, fur trade, especially the Hudson Bay Company. And yet here is vivid evidence of fiddling and music. It was painted around 1800 at the height of the fur trade by an unknown painter and it's an unknown fiddler, but it represents well the struggles of studying this topic with music literally hidden and concealed in the walls uh, in the fabric of the trading posts, yet very elusive and difficult to trace. And in this case found only by chance. Um, and researching this book felt a lot like that, like prying back the boards in the sense of wading through an enormous amount of historical material, looking for this intangible cultural heritage um, that vanished you know, into the air as soon as performances ended, unless someone made a note of it, or it was captured in an oral history, or a painting was made like this, or an instrument was preserved in a museum. Um, you know, it's hard to capture these kind of uh, activities in the past in, in, in history, especially 200 years later. Um, so it's a great cover. I love it. I'm very happy. I pushed for it to be, to be on the cover, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover uh, because it only really relates to one of the eight chapters in this book. Only one, the, the last chapter, the eighth chapter is about the kind of instrumental dance music that developed it at the trading posts and that really centered around the fiddle music. So I want to take some time introducing the book, uh, the other chapters, uh, before doing a reading and taking some questions. Um, and then at the end, I'll, I'll play, play a few tunes. <laughs> 